All right, let's look at this uh, 2D equilibrium problem. All right, <clears throat> so this spring right here has an unstretched length of 200 millimeters. Determine the force in cables BC and cable BD when the spring is held in the position shown. All right, so do you see that we need to draw a free body diagram of B, right? You see that B is kind of the object we want to draw our free body diagram of. So here we go. Let me draw a little circle for B. All right, I've got the force in the spring. I'll call it FS. Um, do you see that I drew it in tension? So I'm assuming it is being stretched, um, which I think is, is kind of obvious, uh, you know, right here, that if its unstretched length is 200 and its current length is 500, it is being stretched. Uh, so I've got that force in the spring, perfectly horizontal. I've got the tension. I'll say tension in BC, and it is at... 400 by 400. Uh, you could say 400 by 400, or you know we could say 45 degrees. You know 45 degrees. Uh, let's do 45 degrees. It's at a 45 degree angle. Uh, and then I've got the tension, tension in BD. Now be careful. That looks almost like 45. It's not. It's at a 300 by 400. All right. So it is at a 300 by 400 or a 3 by 4 so I'm just kind of looking at the angle 3 by 4 by a squared plus b squared equals c squared you know I can find 5 all right so instead of 3 4 5 so uh, and, and it, this doesn't have much weight it doesn't tell me the weight of b I think it's safe to assume that it's very negligible at least compared to all the other forces on this free body diagram uh, but there's my free body diagram. Let me define my axes. Uh, unless there's any other reason, I think it's, you know, makes sense to define my axes. Left to the right is positive x, and up is positive y. All right, is that self-sufficient enough? Um, let let me see. Uh, do I know this force in the spring? Let's let's look at the force in this spring. Let's look at the force in the spring. I know that the force in the spring is K delta X. Uh, there's the K. So the force in the spring would be 800 newtons per meter. The delta X, all right. I'm not just going to plug in 500 millimeters. The delta X is the amount of stretch. Uh, if its unstretched length is 200 and its current length is 500, then it is being stretched by 300 millimeters. So this delta X, 300 millimeters. Be careful with my units, though. That um, spring constant is newtons per meter. So this needs to be in meters, 0.3 meters. Look, my units work out. Yeah, I'm left with newtons, 240 newtons. So the force in this spring is 240 newtons. All right. So now, I've done everything I can. Let me... It's in equilibrium, right? This is statics. The sum of the forces equals zero because it's not accelerating. The sum of the forces in x equals zero. So what are the forces in the x direction? What are the forces in the x direction? Well, negative 240, right? Negative pointed to the left right there. Uh, and then positive, I don't know the tension, but I do know its angle. And so uh, the cosine 45 degree angle would be in the x direction. And then TBD, uh, the four-fifths component would be in the x direction. And then equals zero. Please, please, please write equals zero so you don't get um, in trouble with the math or anything. So here is my equation. If that equation had only one unknown, I would, I would solve for that one unknown. This equation has two unknowns. So let me take a step back and sum the forces in y. Let me sum the forces in y. So this 240, well, this 240 completely in x, it does not have a component in y. But the TBC, the sine 45 component, right? Because we've broken that one up into cosine 45, and that one is TBC sine 45, TBC cosine 45. Uh, the TBC sine 45 is positive y, and the TBD, the three-fifths component, 
is down, right? I broke it up into four fifths TBD and three fifths TBD. So down three fifths TBD equals zero. That one has two unknowns, but those two equations together, two equations, two unknowns, you should be able to solve for that. You've got to do that. I'm not going to really go, I'll go a little bit over the map, but you've got to be able to solve two equations with two unknowns. Uh, you know, there's two ways you can um, add them together or you can use substitution. I like to use substitution. I like to write one of the unknowns in terms of the other. So my first instinct is to write TBC is equal to something, 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 TBD. Uh, but there is a shortcut with 45 degree angles because TBC sine 45 is equal to TBC cosine 45, right? That's the only angle that's you know, sine and cosine of that angle are the same. So let me just say TBC sine 45 is equal to TBD three-fifths, and then I would plug that in for TBC cosine 45. So I'd have negative 240 plus TBD three-fifths, TBD four-fifths, all right, so 7 fifths, take that to, to 240 to the other side, divide through. All right, I would get TBD is 171 newtons. Box that in. And then I would get TBC um, is 145, right? I would plug that back in right here. Where are we? I could plug back into either of these equations and get TBC is 145 newtons. All right.